Hawk, Merida complained. I spent all month working on a fancy brooch for Mum. But her birthday's tomorrow, and it's still not right. Maudie clucked in sympathy, but didn't reply. She was more worried about her latest batch of hot muffins. Who are for the Dunbrock Brownie, the wee elf that lives outside the gate? If the brownie isn't happy, who knows what mischief he could make. Merida sighed again, thinking about her mum's birthday. The brooch had started as a good idea, but when it was all put together, it didn't seem right. Merida went to her room to take another look at the gem. But it was gone. Then Merida saw her brothers. Oh, come now, lads, said Merida. Where is it? But the boys had lost the gem. Merida looked more closely at Hubert's shirt. Is this a thistle? she asked. Are those crumbs on your shoes? Suddenly, Merida knew where the triplets had been playing that morning. Merida led the boys outside. Just as I thought. You ate the treats that Maudie made for the Dunbrock brownie. Well, now we know where you lost the gem. Merida and her brothers looked all around the clearing but they couldn't find the brooch. What if the brownie took the brooch because you ate his treats, Merida said. Merida told her brothers to get more muffins and thistles. Meanwhile, she tidied up the clearing. When everything was ready, she told everyone to close their eyes. Dun Brock Brownie, Merida whispered into the air. We're sorry your treats were taken. But we tried to fix everything. Could you help us in return? Merida opened her eyes. There in the crook of a tree was the brooch. Had the brownie really just returned it, or had it been there the whole time? Merida examined the gem more closely. There was something different about it. The next evening, Merida presented the birthday brooch to her mother. My favorite gem, set in a silver thistle.
Leonard exclaimed, What better luck could I have than to have you as my daughter?